Turkey's president warns of a new Gallipoli in the wake of Christchurch terror attack and says anyone who targets Muslims in his country will return in coffins. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has issued a stern warning to anyone considering entering the country for anti-Muslim reasons in the wake of the Christchurch terrorist attack. The 65-year-old referenced the Gallipoli campaign during the First World War and said during a public speech on Monday that anyone with heinous motives for entering the country would return in coffins. He highlighted the failed invasion of Gallipoli Peninsula back in 1916, by Allied forces such as Australia and New Zealand. Your grandparents came, some of them returned in coffins. If you come as well like your grandfather is, be sure that you will be gone like your grandfather is, President Erdogan said, reported the Herut Daily News. He said history would repeat if anyone were to stand against Turks, Muslims and all the oppressed. If Turkey faces a test similar to those that happened in Gallipoli in the First World War, the country is capable of doing the same again, he said. President Erdogan was speaking at the opening ceremony of the Museum of Troy in Karakol, a city in northwest Turkey and implored New Zealand to take the issue seriously. We expect the New Zealand government to take this issue seriously. They should not take it lightly like Western countries do. I have shared this issue with New Zealand's Governor General Patsy Reddy, he said. He noted that he had told Dame Reddy that Turkey had suffered from multiple terrorist attacks and would be happy to hold joint works with New Zealand. President Erdogan's statements come shortly after the Turkish authorities released a CCTV picture of the New Zealand mosque suspected killer gunman. He is believed to have had an extended stay in the country in 2016. Australian-born Brenton Tarrant, 28, allegedly live-streamed his sickening attack on two Christchurch mosques on Friday, leaving 50 dead. Ankara, Turkey's cosmopolitan capital, said on Friday it was currently investigating Tarrant's multiple visits to Turkey. They said they were looking into who he might have met while he was there during an extended period of time in the country. The Bulgarian government has also said it was looking into Tarant, who apparently visited the country late last year, as well as Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Tarrant is said to have set off on a journey around the world in 2011, taking a particular interest in the Balkans and Turkey and the former conflicts between Christians and Muslims. The Gallipoli Campaign, a Timeline The Gallipoli Campaign was a campaign of the First World War that took place on the Gallipoli Peninsula, Jilabu in modern Turkey in the Ottoman Empire between February 17, 1915 and January 9, 1916. The Allies failed to secure the Dardanelles, a crucial strait that provided a sea route to the Russian Empire. 1914. November. 1. First convoy of Australian and New Zealand troops departs for Europe from Albany, Western Australia. 5. The United Kingdom declares war on Turkey. 1915. January. 13. British War Council approves naval operation to the Dardanelles. March. 18. French and British naval operation fails. 22. Britain decides to launch land campaign on the Gallipoli Peninsula. April. 
25, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzacs, land at Anzac Cove. More than 1,700 casualties evacuated in first 24 hours. 26, Australian submarine Mizai E-2 is first Allied vessel to sneak through the Dardanelles. Twenty-seven twenty-nine. Anzac troops survived Turkish attempts to drive them into the sea. May. 5. Turkish shell Anzac Cove in what's known as Beachy Bill, resulting in more than 1,000 casualties. 8. Anzac troops join British attack at Hells, losing 1,000 men out of 2,000. 15. Major General Wade Bridge, commander of the Australian 1st Division is wounded, later dies on May 18, 1915. 19. Australian legend John Simpson Kirkpatrick, famed for rescuing fallen troops with his donkey, is killed. 24. Armistice declared for nine hours to bury dead soldiers in no man's land. August. 6. The major battle of the Gallipoli campaign, the August offensive begins. 6. The six-state Lone Pine diversion starts. 7. Four waves of men in Australia's 3rd Light Horse Brigade wiped out at the Battle of the Neck. 8. New Zealand and English forces gain foothold at vital outpost Chinook Bear. 10. Turkish troops force Allied servicemen off Chinook Bear. 21-29, the battle for Hill 60 ends with major casualties, August offensive fails. November. 22, English Secretary of State for War Horatio Kitchener recommends evacuation of Anzac Cove and Suvla. 27, blizzard hits Gallipoli Peninsula, reinforcing the need to evacuate. December. 918, more than 16,000 troops evacuated from Manzac Cove mostly at night. 1820, remaining 20,000 Australia and New Zealand soldiers withdrawn. 20, evacuation of Anzac Cove and Subla completed before dawn. Some 22,000 Allied soldiers died and 55,000 were injured in the failed campaign. Source, Department of Veterans Affairs, Monash University Professor Bruce Skates.